Hey, Composing Gloves here, and this is another video in synth, Sound and Synth Basics. We're, we're winding it up to where I think we're near the end again, but I'm going to be safe this time and not say anything because I may think of a bunch of other principles. I also may redo some of these videos at some point. So, this one's on FX. Now, there are different types of effects. The broad two types are audio and MIDI effects, and then within those, you have different options. I have a whole FX series for FL. So I'm just going to layer out for layer out. I'm just going to list out for you the, the main types. So a MIDI effect is something that affects MIDI performance. It's a way to manipulate the way MIDI interacts so that you can essentially achieve a cool effect fast. One quick example of a MIDI effect. If I open up Harmer, I'm triggering Harmer with MIDI. If I come over here to the MIDI effects, I have all these MIDI effects here. They're actually, there's a bunch of others. In Ableton, they've got a whole list for MIDI effects. Uh, so I can come over here to my ARP and turn it on. This is a MIDI ARP. It's changing the way my MIDI data behaves, not my audio data. So that's one example of a MIDI effect. It's affecting performance data. The other type is an audio effect. So I can come in, let me send this to a track, track seven, and I can add effects to it. This is an audio effect delay. So it takes the audio in and it loops it however much I tell it to loop it. I have a whole series on how all these things work. Um, that one's not done yet, but I'm working on it as we speak. So what are the, now once we get to there, there's, they break off. So you have dynamic plugins generally you have, or dynamic effects. These are, these exist as analog things as well. You have dynamic effects. So they affect how the dynamic range of your signal. So you have something really loud or something really soft that affects that you have uh, delay effects, which which you just saw. You can use delay for stereo image. Reverb is a delay effect. Those are the two big ones, dynamics and delays. And then you have the MIDI. You also have your filters, which are considered dynamic, which are considered dynamic effects because you're changing the relative amplitude of some stuff. So those are your effect types. If you really want to know more about effects in detail, I recommend you just read some of the manuals for yours. Or you know, I have a whole thing on. Uh, delays and reverbs and stuff that you can do stereo shapers you're, the more you just study up on specific plugins or your devices because it's really about what you have access to the, the better you're gonna get and so yeah just yeah I have a whole thing for effects so check that out so I guess I should cover this in a bit more detail reverb is a type of delay it's what creates a sense of space so for reverb, you're going to want to know about that. Delay on a general term is like that, dun, 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 like that type of a thing. But also at very short delays uh, can create a sense of space, similar to how reverb is. Reverb is just a fancy delay because it's, it's a reverb's a, it's a whole bunch of delays. Dynamic, so you can have something really loud and you can have something really soft. And sometimes you may need to control this range and bring it together. That is called your dynamic range. Um, I know I haven't really talked about it in this. It's kind of an important principle, but it's more of a mixing ideal for me more than a synth basic thing. Uh, but you can use it creatively in your synthesis design, but you squeeze that dynamic range. So you'll turn down your peaks and then raise the whole thing. I have a video on compression on my channel, so you can go check that out. Now filters, you, you're removing content. I have a variety of filter videos already, so you should be familiar with that. Now you have other, other effects. Uh, like vocoders, which I have, I recommend just watching the fruity vocoder video that explains vocoders pretty all right. And then I have a vocodex series, which goes through vocodex is a beefy vocoder. If you're really interested in vocoding, it's what allows you to auto tune vocals live. And then of course there's auto tune, which I have a video for new tone, a whole little series of new tone. These are all in the LF. These are all in the FL 12 effects. So those are some of your basic effects, sort of an introduction to some of the possibilities you have as an engineer to or a sound designer to sculpt your stuff. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comments, subscribe, and have a blessed day.